Welcome to Electron Online. In this video series, we're going to talk about GPS, the Global Positioning System. And starting out, we're going to talk about the GPS constellation. There'll be a whole slew of videos coming, first talking more or less about the overview of GPS and then getting into more detail about the specifics and about how everything really works. But here, let's talk about the general concept of GPS. GPS is what we call a constellation of satellites, a grouping of satellites. Currently, there are at least 32, what we call Block 2, Block 2A, 2R, or 2RM satellites in space for the purpose of providing GPS service for the American system. There's also a Russian system, a Chinese system, a European system, and India is also getting into the game trying to put a system up there of a constellation of satellites. The American satellite is in what we call sub-geosynchronous orbit in such a way that each satellite tra travels around the Earth exactly two times in each sight real day. Now a sight real day is slightly shorter than a solar day. The orbital period, is, which is a half a sight real day, is 11 hours, 58 minutes, and about two seconds. So it's, a sight real day is about four minutes short of a 24-hour period. The minimum number of satellites that is required to provide complete GPS coverage and making sure that you can get accurate GPS measurements at all times is 24. So we are safe here in saying that we have 32, which is eight more than the minimum required. Of course, you never want to have it just down to 24 because if one or two satellites stop working, you start having some holes in your coverage and your accuracy is going to go way down. The way these satellites are situated, of course, it's very difficult to draw that here, but you, know, you can see that there's a swarm of satellites around the Earth at a distance of about 11, 12,000 miles away from the surface of the Earth. They all exist in six separate orbits. The orbits are inclined at 55 degrees relative to the equator. Each of the six orbits are spaced exactly 60 degrees apart. So if you can imagine that if this is the Earth and here's the equator of the Earth, the first orbit then would be around the Earth like this at an angle of 55 degrees elevated from the equator. Then the next orbit would be 60 degrees away, again at an angle of 55 degrees north elevated above the equator. The next one would be 60 degrees away. So that way, 60 degrees separated from one another we have six orbits that completely cover the Earth. There are four satellites in each orbit, therefore four times six is 24 satellites. And the, um, the way that the satellites are spaced, they're not exactly spaced at 90 degrees apart from one another. It turns out that there's two satellites that are 30 degrees apart, then the next gap is 105 degrees, the next gap is 120 degrees, and then the last gap is back 105 degrees, or then you go all the way around and come back to the first satellite. So you see there is a reason for doing so. We have an, on average a better coverage, more satellites visible when we have this particular arrangement. It turns out from a height of about 11, 12,000 miles above the surface, which is about 20,000 kilometers above the surface of the Earth, the satellite has a visibility of about 78% of the hemisphere that would then be, you know, pointed towards the satellite, so to speak. So there's about 78% coverage by each satellite at any given time. From a fixed position on the Earth, then if you want to know how long is the satellite visible as it goes across the sky at that particular angle. So on average, the, each satellite is visible from a fixed position on the Earth for about, well, would be one half the sidereal day because it goes around the Earth twice in, in a day. Take then, multiply that times one half because it's only one half of the surface and about 78% of that gives us about four and a half hours. Now from a practical perspective, when the satellites are really close to the horizon and there may be trees or houses and things like that in the way, you may not exactly have a straight line of sight direct to the satellite. So a typical useful period that a satellite is visible for any specific place on the Earth is about four to four and a half hours. So it's slightly less than the theoretical time that the satellite would be visible. The number of visible satellites at all times. Now, the minimum number required at any given time to have an accurate GPS measurement is four satellites. Three to do the triangulation and a fourth one to, to give you that extra accuracy that is needed for accurate positioning. On average, if you take the 24 satellites, 
divided by one half because you would only have them on half of the visible surface from wherever you are and then times 78 percent because it only has 78 percent coverage on average you would see about nine satellites at any given time because of the differential spacing it could be as few as six it could be as much as 12 but nine is your typical number of satellites that would be visible at all times you know that it never is going to drop below six and since we need a minimum of four the system is always there with plenty of satellites for us to look at to be able to get coverage now of course gps is used for a number of things a lot of military applications and also a lot of civilian applications all aircraft civilian aircraft like to have gps location where they're at people nowadays we want to have gps location via our cell phones we put them in our cars we put them everywhere we, we want to go we can always tell exactly where we are and where we need to go by only just plugging in whatever address or gps coordinates we want to go to so it's a really a universal technique now to find any place on the earth and there's also of course a lot of military military applications so we're going to go ahead and look at a lot of the ways in which gps is used how it works how the codes work what kind of signals are sent and so forth so if this is something you're interested in stay tuned we have a lot more information for you coming up in these videos